Hey y'all. Well, David's up there and it's not every day that I get to spray him down with a water hose. So today we're gonna figure out where the cab is leaking. Are y'all ready? This is one way to do it. Hmm. Oh, let's see. He's looking, he's got the flashlight out. Oh, he's saying stop. All right. Okay. You found it? Well. Let me get up here. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, it should have been inherently obvious, the piece of missing gasket, but look at the water running down. Oh. Look right there. Look at the water running down, just you. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, yeah, that would be a windshield gasket. Oh, are these individual gaskets? Is that... Wait a minute, that's two... Huh, I thought it was one piece of... Well, okay. Oh, look at the water running. Is that from just over here, or is that... Oh, well, no, something ran in over here, too. Look at this. Look how much ran in. Oh, hold on, let me... I can't see. Turn the light. Here, hold the camera. <laughs> Look. Look how much water ran in just... Okay, let's... I see rust in there. I don't see any water. So where's that coming in at? You want me to spray again? Uh, there? I don't see any water on this side. It's not... It's not that gasket? No, not on this side, but it's something else. Something else has got to be. I mean, that's a lot of water for yeah, that's 20 your, seconds of... That's your river. <laughs> 20 seconds of you spraying with a water hose. That's a lot of... And I don't see anything up here on the roof. Um, I mean, I know, I guess with all that insulation, you wouldn't, would you? Yeah, but I mean, it'd be running down here. It would be wet. If it was, like everybody was saying it was the air horns, it would be wet right now. I mean, but that's, that that's a river. It's running in something else. To come in that looks like it's coming right here or well no it's running across oh it's running. the scene because the truck's leaning oh all right well you want to spray again on that side see if you yeah go out there and spray that side of the truck and let's see what we get you want to keep them with you or take no you can take them with you okay all right guys and gals let's try this again Make sure I get the door shut. All right. Let's grab the water hose. And let's go over on this side where we can get him real good. I hope he's ready. Oh. Well, that was quick. Okay. I don't know where it's coming, but it is pouring in here. I mean, look at it. Look, it is pouring in. Here, hold that, hold them. I don't know where it's. There's a spider web. You'll probably stick your hand in there and a big old spider will come flying out. They'll probably bite me on the head and I'll <laughs> swell up and I'll go to the hospital. <laughs> Man. I don't see. It's almost like this heater box. Well, it's that vent is not it. But... Back in there? No, it's not back in there. 
It looks like the AC, it looks like the evaporator box. But how does this duct work? I swear it's coming in that duct work right there. That grate behind the air filter, look on the outside. Look, look through there. Okay. That's where it's coming in that grate. Right here? Let me hop out here. Okay. I got the door. Don't let me hit you with the door. That would be a bad day. I know I watered hit. you down with oh, yeah, it. <laughs> hit me right upside the head. <laughs> Whack them. <laughs> but no, there's a grate. See right there? Yeah. I bet you we're going to have to take that air filter off. Like, you think it's coming in there? Like, it's running in there? Yeah. I think there's probably a gasket on the inside that's supposed to be... Maybe so. ...around that box. Well, that... Okay, this is when we need our, our faithful... Oh, look at the water in there. I don't oh. know if the camera can see. There's water standing in there. Here, let me see if I can get the... It's probably where... Oh, I see it. That's probably where the stink... Too. That could be where the stink is. <laughs> stink, stank, stunk. Uh, all right. If somebody knows how, I need help on this one. Oh, please help us. <laughs> if somebody can tell me how to get this box off right here. Because it looks like it's part of the whole assembly. Yeah, like the whole thing. Yeah, it looks like it's part of the whole heater box. Well, what about like right box. up there above that little box? There's a screw. Is that not it? You can't take it. You see what I'm talking about? Right no. above the piece of paper. No. Oh, that ain't it? No. Okay. Hmm. We're going to need you guys to chime in. Yeah, so if somebody's ever taken this ductwork apart... Chime in and tell me how to get that out of there because I'm betting whatever gasket is supposed to be there, whatever one is supposed to be under here is not doing its job because it is pouring in. I mean, well, y'all saw just how little bit of water Angie sprayed on me and it's, okay. it's done. Well, my, like, what, can you take, you can take that off, right? I can take the air filter off, but the plate's on the inside. See what I'm saying? That duct works on the inside, and I'm betting there's supposed to be a gasket around it to seal it. So, taking that off isn't going to do you a darn bit of good, because you can't... Well, allow me to see it, but that's it. Hmm. Unless these screws, now, um, see these screws right there? Unless all those screws are holding that duct work to the truck. If somebody can answer me, maybe that's what's holding it. Oh, the little Phillips head yeah, screws? Yeah, the little Phillips head screws. So maybe somebody can answer me. If the Phillips head screws are what's holding that to the truck, then we got to pull the air filter off. Which and is... then we got to take those screws out, and then the ductwork can come out. Okay. But that's definitely like the windshield on that side. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm happy that that's just like, looks like two pieces. Yeah, but I mean, anybody in their right mind, if you if you replace the windshield gasket, you're going to replace both of them. Uh, you know what I mean? Well, yeah. It wouldn't be. Yeah, you're right. For the efforts you're going to have to go through. We're going to have to call our guy. I know, we're going to have to call him. But at least it doesn't have chrome trim around it. He's not going to be mad at us. Yeah. Our glass guy doesn't like doing chrome trim. We totally get it, well, though. I get it after watching him do it. I understand. I'm, I'm we, with him. We, we suffered with him on one job that he did for us here recently, and uh, we totally get it. So we're, we're in his corner on that, for sure. But so, Okay, well. But our other... Um, spray. I know what I want you to do. Okay. Spray the top of the cab, and let's see if the air horns are leaking. Okay. Don't spray up on the window and hose me down more. <laughs> spray up on top of the cab. And let's see if water is running in the top. Okay. I'll do that. So, let me climb back up in here. Okay. All right. Let's spray up on top. Okay. You ready?
Maybe we'll luck out and there won't be any back there. I hope there's not. Okay. Let's see what he has to say. And? I don't see anything. Yes. It sounds like a river in here. It makes you have to pee <laughs> listening to it run off the back of the cab. Makes you makes you feel like you gotta go piss, but <laughs> but it's not coming in. It's not Okay, well. Hey, that was a plus. I mean that's a win. That's a plus, but man, that thing is leaking. Well that's why it was a river. Oh yeah, very little bit of water equals a river in the truck. Hmm. So our, our actual plan for today was to find this and and wash the and truck. wash the truck because it it really needs it and I you know I can't stand it when it, that it's so dirty. Yeah, so even though even though the paint's bad, I still we're still going to keep it somewhat clean. I bought me a new toy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got us a new brush. So David's going to get to work and <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to If I can get it down in the bucket. Oh. We may need a different bucket. I don't know. This seems all right. Here we go. Gertrude's going to get her first bath. You want to well, the side of the truck's already wet. Never mind. So I'm going to do the low parts, so you do the high parts. Deal? Deal, got it. Okay. You get to do the wheels. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that? You didn't... I didn't even think about that. You didn't that. even think about that. You didn't even... <laughs> no. No. I did not. Oh. I think I got the raw end of that. Now, I'm pretty sure you got the raw end of that deal. <laughs> yep. So... We're going to keep cleaning, and then we're going to show you guys what Gertrude looks like when we get when done. When she gets done with her bath. Yeah, because we're going to be here for a little bit, and as y'all can see, it looks like it's about to pour, so we may not have to rinse her. She yeah, might... I was going to say, it may not have to rinse the truck. Yeah, she may get rinsed without, without us even turning the hose back on. And we do need windshield wipers. We figured that out on the way home. Oh, yes, yeah. so on our last little venture drive, we got a little bit of, the rain started coming, and he hit the, <laughs> hit the little button, and uh, nothing, I mean, well, they, it streaked, it streaked, they came, they on, worked, they came on, so that was a plus, so, all right, well, we'll show you the finished product of Clean Gertrude, y'all stay with us, hey, everybody, I have decided, since my little thermal camera showed temperature in the rear end that I want to actually verify the gauge is working. So I'm getting nine volts. I know it probably should be 12 volts to the gauge, but I'm getting nine volts. So I feel that's appropriate, you know. So let's see, let's hook it to something else here. Another bolt. Well, see, it's 10 volts, so maybe there's the grounds not so perfect. But one volt difference isn't going to matter. But what I'm going to do is we're going to artificially heat the rear end. And we're going to wait and see if the gauge on the dash moves. We're going to basically... Not overheat the sensor, but... We're going to fake it. We're going to fake it and put some actual temperature into it. Can I just mention that old Gertrude is all shiny? Gertrude is shiny. Look at old Gertrude. Yeah. Let's see if the gauge actually reads. Want me to come with you? Oh, hold on. I got to get skinny. I parked a little close on my side. <laughs> I got to get skinny. I came this way. And that's hard for me to do, get skinny. And nada. 
Nothing? Nada, nada, nada. Go get the temperature gun out of the toolbox. Okay. And we'll actually verify the sensor actually heated up. But nada. Where's it at? Uh, top drawer, right hand side, new toolbox. Got it. It's getting. Oh. <laughs> it's hard for me to do. I'm not the skinniest guy in the world. Let's see, it may have cooled off by now. Yeah, it's 82. Let's heat it up a little more. Let's let's throw the heat to it. Let's give it 30 seconds or so of. We'll come back to y'all. We won't bore you with this. Okay. <laughs> So, I heated it up to about 105, 110 degrees, and no work on the gauge. But as you can come here, the ohm reading, as it cools down, the ohm reading is dropping on the gauge. So, that means the sensor is working. It's either the wiring in between here, which there's many, many connections, or it's the gauge in the truck. Huh. So one of those two is not working. Something else on Gertrude's list. Something else on Gertrude's list. That's, it's not the end of the world to, to find that right away, but chalk it up on the to-do list over here of things to fix. Yeah. The brakes are more urgent than the yeah. axle temp sensor, but I don't want to go a long distance without having the axle temp figured out. Right. So, yeah. So we can either tear into wiring, which that may rabbit hole into a whole different mess, or we'll check the front tandem here and see if it's the same problem. So, I say we put the meter on the front tandem. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right, y'all hold tight. Well, that escalated quickly. David, now here we are back with David's legs hanging out from under Gertrude once yeah. again. Can you see the meter? The I face can. Of the meter? I can. Is it reading anything? No. Well, I'm on the sending unit, so... It, it says zero. A zero out of limits? Yep. Oh, well. Oh, well. Nothing. Nada. Okay, well, that, uh, leads me to believe that, uh, still oh, well. Still oh, well. Well, that sending unit must be bad then. Because if I don't get any ohm reading out of it, I'm going to say it's open and bad. Yeah. Well, so we got one with a gauge problem <laughs> and one with a sending unit problem. Well, gauge problem or wiring. Could be the wiring. Yeah. There's a lot of crappy wiring on this truck. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> Two problems figured out, 87 to go. <laughs> hey, but I'm still happy that yeah. the cab itself was not leaking. Well, technically it was the cab, but just well, not, parts of the cab are leaking, but, but not. it's not coming in the metal. It's not coming in the metal. Yeah. So that, that made me very happy. All the rest we can fix. Yeah. So it's been okay. Well, that's it's, it for sensors. That's what we can do tonight. That's all we got. Yeah. But like I said, Gertrude is shiny. We got her all cleaned up. Let me squirrel out of here. Okay. She's looking good. Tried to work a little bit on the wheels. They're going to need some extra love. But all in all, 
Even though the paint is not the greatest, she cleaned up pretty good. What do you think? Hello? Hello? What do you think? I think she cleaned up pretty good. Yeah. I'm pleased. Yeah, these fenders are starting to turn where they were never painted. Yeah. The fiberglass is starting to... To turn. Turn, so they're going to need to get paint on them. Even if it's just primer, they're going to need paint soon or they're going to need a real deep sand. Right. But... Oh, we must have heated mirrors. Oh, fancy. Imagine that. I wonder if they work. <laughs> well. There have been 98 other things on here that ain't work, so <laughs> why would... Why would that stand? Oh, and look, there's a rivet hanging out of the mirror. I know Peterbilt didn't do that. They must have ripped these mirror these mirrors off here. Look. Yeah. See the rivet pins? Yeah. See, they designed these mirrors that those rivets are breakaway. That when you're caught in something, or somebody backs a trailer into you, a truck stop, or you back into something, the mirror bracket goes wham, rips off. And these are supposed to be breakaway rivets, which I don't know if somebody put them back or not. They probably put the regular stainless rivets back. But the factory ones are supposed to be breakaway rivets that break off so your door doesn't get mangled when the mirror rips off. Ask me how I know. <laughs> it was oh. a long time ago, but I still remember. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, we hope you guys enjoyed this video today. And we have another question. Have them oh. come. Where'd yeah. the flashlight go? Right there. right there. Let me grab the flashlight. I got it. There you go. Okay. So, if we want to convert this truck to seats, we're probably going to have to move this or make the box go around it. Is that, that's my, that's my assumption. For anybody that's ever done this, chime in. If you put seats in the sleeper and made windows and made seats and all that good stuff, what did you do with the heat and AC? Did you leave it, like you said, and put a, make the box like? Make the box around it, or did you move it back? I mean, let's see, what's. That's nothing but lines going through right there. It could be moved. It could go backwards if it needed to. Dile but, what a dilemma. Yeah. So somebody write in the comments. And tell us. Well, what the... If you've already chewed on this rabbit before, what would you do? Yeah. Because... Not that I'm going to get to this point real fast, because I've got plenty of other real things to fix, <laughs> but... Like a couple leaks. Maybe. Oh, too soon? Too soon. Too, oh, sorry. Too soon. <laughs> right, right there, right there. Just pull it, right, pull it. Um, but yeah, when it comes to making Gertrude cosmetically more friendly and more user-friendly, when we put seats in it, this is going to be a question that comes up. I, like I told you today with us, uh, even when we drive it, when we go and drive, I, and I'm, I don't have a seat yet, so I'm riding in the back doing the videos. Yeah, you riding in the limousine. I'm riding in the limousine, and I, automatically when we go by somewhere, I look out like I can see. Yeah, like you can see anything. And you can't see nothing. <laughs> I could open a little vent window, and you could... I could peer out and peek you out. You could peer out the little screen, because <laughs> you only, it only opens about that wide. <laughs> So, but yes, that is definitely something that we do want to do. Maybe not this winter project, because this winter is going. This winter project is everything mechanical. Yeah, everything mechanical. All problems that we're finding and that breaks, going to be on number one. Well, number one, the brake and the tire. And the tire, yes. Why is it both passenger side? I just realized it. It is. The tire goes flat and the brake it sticks. Yeah. It's both on the passenger side. 
but I would and definitely gonna fix the leaks so we don't we can get the smell out and then maybe we can actually put a flooring in my seat. Maybe oh, they're, they're, they ought to be glad it's not smell o vision. Oh, it's bad. It, like it, I say, every anybody that's been a trucker for a while knows what a bad truck smells like. So yeah, that one's got water, standing water sitting in it. So yeah, you can almost imagine. <laughs> So thank y'all for watching the video. Yes. We appreciate it. And how we end every one of our videos. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank, thank you, you for, for today. today.